Welcome everyone to our new Meet the Members series. I'm your host, Aaron Kirk Douglas, Chair of the UC Entertainment Committee. With me today is Stephen Williams. Welcome, Stephen, and thank you for agreeing to join me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Happy to be here. All right, well, first a series of rapid fire questions. Introvert or extrovert, which are you? I would say I'm definitely an extrovert. All right, do you have a favorite color? Uh, yeah, I love the color green. Okay. Well, you're in the right state. Uh, <laughs> do you have a favorite food? Yeah, I would say my favorite food, uh, I could probably go a couple different ways. I'm definitely a foodie, uh, but I'll say barbecue. I love barbecue. Okay, I don't hear that much, but that's, that's good to know. So yeah. wine, beer, or spirits? I'm going to say I kind of rotate. I would say right now I really like spirits specifically. Mm -hmm. I like bourbon. A lot. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, you just missed the uh, whiskey day and uh, you know, we have a couple of big uh, bourbon and whiskey days every year, but that's not to say you can't have one anytime you like. Um, True. Okay. So, now for the serious questions, I'm going to ask you a straightforward, open-ended question, and that is just tell us whatever it is you would like uh, a university club member to, to know about you when they meet you for the first time. Yeah, and is this more of kind of where my background and my story? Yes, exactly. Yeah, so I would say my, my background, I'm actually from Tennessee. I grew up there and my whole family everybody's back in east tennessee in knoxville and so i grew up in a, a construction and real estate family run business um, so i have roots kind of in that industry uh, my uncle my grandpa my dad my my brother my sister they're all in that industry and uh, so that's kind of the world that i come from i went to college in birmingham alabama went to sanford uh -huh. university which Samford sounds a lot like a certain other school that might be in Palo Alto. I did not go to that certain Palo Alto school. Okay. Um, so over here on the West Coast, I, my wife is from this general area. And so I have to, sometimes I just don't correct people and they're like, oh, Stanford, you are so intelligent. And I just kind of smile and say, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's kind of where I come from. I. Uh, went to school for I have a communications and a business degree and then actually trained to be a, a pastor in California and that's where I met my wife and going through you know pastoral training and ministry training I, I determined I really like you know for-profit enterprise type business and that's kind of my roots I guess it's in my blood so I love the business world um, I just think it's such a blast so transitioned back into uh, you know, for-profit world and uh, yeah, worked in the software and technology space for seven years as a, a sales representative and really enjoyed that. And then finally kind of gravitated back towards once again, my roots and working in commercial insurance with Brown and Brown with a very specific emphasis in real estate and construction. And that kind of brings me to where I'm at uh, today and really, really fortunate and blessed to be where I'm at. Well, and I don't hear the, I don't hear a Southern accent at all. I'm not detecting that. Don't be fooled, Aaron. If you get me in a room of Southern folk, uh, you'll probably hear the twang come out. But I'll say my wife gives me a hard time and my friends give me a hard time. You know, if my dad were to call me right now and I start kind of blabbing with my dad, I'd sound really Southern. I'm a bit of a chameleon. So if I okay. get around all the folks out here, I, I'm going to sound pretty, uh, like the folks out here okay so i'm not going to hear y'all unless maybe you, you might hear a little bit right. of y'all okay you might hear a little bit of y'all <laughs> yeah. um so tell me what drew you to the university club yeah i i love the university club i've only been a member here for two months but um i actually started kind of rubbing shoulders with folks at the university club through one of my my friends and colleagues joe Benz, and uh -huh. kind of tagging along with him and I noticed every time I would tag along with him, I would meet someone really interesting at the mm -hmm. university club. 
And I just have such a high value for people and relationships. And I guess being an extrovert, um, I, I just really enjoyed getting to know people. I just think that's such a blast. And although I'm a salesperson, my truly greatest uh, aim in life is I just really enjoy people. So just to get to know folks, whether I ever sell to them or not, I, to be honest, um, yeah, we need to sell stuff. But I, I just really enjoy having friends uh, in the professional community. And so that's really what drew me to the university club. And it definitely has delivered. I've already just within a few months been able to meet such interesting people. And what's so neat about the university club, there's such a diverse background of people. And that's really blown me away that I'll meet folks in all different industries and all different stages of their career and from all different backgrounds. And it's just such an enriching community um, that, that I found. So that's, that's really what drew me to the UC. Wow. All right. Well, you sound like a commercial. So, um, <laughs> you didn't pay me to say that. I promise. No, I did. I didn't even have to pay you to say that. So what are you most looking forward to this year at the UC? Yeah, at the UC, I think it to piggyback off of what I was saying, really just building genuine, uh, connections and friendships with people, grabbing a drink after work or grabbing a lunch with folks and getting to know them and really just get ingrained into the professional and just business community of Portland. Mm -hmm. I don't maybe have the benefit of having gone to high school or college in this region. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's just so amazing. I'm so fortunate to have found a place like the university club where I can build those relationships and have familiar faces and just befriend folks mm -hmm. in this community. Um, and that's really what I'm looking most forward to is just uh, building building a network of friends uh, mm -hmm. within Portland. All right, we'll definitely be able to do that. Well, uh, a couple more of our stock questions to close out our interview, and that is, if you could eat only one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Oh, I, I really had to think about this. <laughs> I would say, and maybe this is my Southern roots, I would say Matt's barbecue off of Mississippi next to Prost. Wow. If I could only eat one thing for the rest of my life. That's pretty specific. It's very specific. It is the best barbecue. In, and I'm from the South. That's the best barbecue I've ever had, point blank, is oh. here in Portland, Matt's barbecue off of Mississippi. If I had to eat that the rest of my life, probably would not be good for my, my heart and my, uh -huh. my insides. But, right. oh, my goodness, I, I would be, I would die a happy man. Okay. Um, what are you most afraid of? Oh, my goodness. I think this is, I, that's a really good curveball question, Aaron. I, I like that question. You know, I think this is probably something that a lot of folks maybe in sales or even in business, a lot of folks can relate to. Probably my greatest fear is failing. I think failing professionally, failing my clients. Um, I think that that's a, a huge thing that uh, would, would really bum me out. And, and so, yeah, I'd say fear of failure is definitely uh, my greatest fear. All right. And uh, Stephen, I understand you had a, a recent uh, expected delivery to your house. And did you want to talk to us about that a little bit? Yeah, I can tell you. We just uh, welcomed our second child, uh, a little daughter named Savannah. And she was due April 10th and came uh, March 31st. Uh, and let's just say I, I'm kind of in the doghouse because my wife kept telling me all that Tuesday on March 30th, hey, I'm starting to feel like this baby might be coming soon. And with our first baby, it took like, you know, labor and everything was very prolonged, it took a really long time. So when my wife starts telling me, hey, I think this baby might be coming, I thought we got, we got so much time. In fact, my wife is texting me and I'm like, hey, honey. I'm going to run over to the university club. I'm going to grab a drink. <laughs> so I went and grabbed a drink with Joe. Oh, I no. Met, I met a bunch of wonderful people. Oh, no. And I'm not kidding. Baby came probably six hours after that. Oh, no. And so I, I'm a little bit in the doghouse for that. But, <laughs> um, we made it to the hospital. I'm not exaggerating, Aaron. We almost had the baby in the Honda Accord. Oh my gosh. I'm like driving to the hospital like a oh. madman. And we made we got to the ER 
you know, I'm running around like a wild man. I need a, I need some help. I need some help. Somebody. We got into the uh, hospital and the baby was out five minutes later. It was, oh, it was kind of, wow. so all that to say, I probably, wow. probably should have listened to my wife. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us today, uh, Stephen, and sharing um, some of yourself and your time with us. And uh, for all of you University Club members, uh, spend a little time introducing yourself to Stephen next time you see him around the club. Thanks so much.